crushing the Slark, chain stunning him, hitting him in Shadow Dance. We've got Earth Spirit, Bristle. I'm not sold. I, I definitely Mid lane yaps or holding onto a regen rune, but it's going to be forced to pick it up here as Insania shows himself. You'd think he would have loved to give that but to Matumba Man, who was both low on health and mana. Yeah, the Slark we saw earlier had a Coddle as a lane partner. I don't think Coddle really enables Slark to win his lane. While, on the other hand, Grimstroke, when he pounces you on Slark, that's scary. Yeah, you're going to get a full ink swell. Taiga, the bottom lane, has the Teletops. He's well. actually going to use it to toss on a puppy. They thought about going for the kill there. Looks like a slight miscommunication. Meanwhile, that top lane, oh, back to bottom. Yapsor is going to be able to get the roll in. Taiga shows himself, gets one kill, and probably a second is now they're brave enough to be able to dive into the tower. Uh, the double quills, that's so much of damage. Double, both farming up the jungle at the same time. Yeah, I don't think... This is so, so greedy from Liquid. Yeah. I guess with Death Prophet ult on cooldown and Stark doesn't want to participate yet, he might have to try to participate before that defusal. They're, otherwise, they're going to give up a lot of control on the map. As you see, the Tier 1 tower going down bottom, and then they're just running to the mid lane and taking down Boxy, who's only level 5. They managed to get a soul by double telekinesis, toss up in the air. The will wisp does manage to go down, though. There's a roll in from Zai. That's going to be extremely disruptive as he just bulls right through both supports as well as Mikke. Mikke does manage to get off his Shatter Dance. It's now completely out of mana. He's going to be chased down underneath his tower quickly taken out by Matama Man. A double kill. They're going to be able to extend this lead even further, but what is, what's Boxy's status here? Is he working on a blink dagger? Almost he, has the blink. Uh, okay. Wait. Yeah, he's got it flying out to him right now. Wait, does he? Uh, he had it queued up earlier. And he okay, was yeah, he, he has gold, a so. he have enough. He has 5,000 net worth. He's definitely got it somewhere. Top lane. Oh, this is uh, maybe a big pickup. Never mind. Matama Man does manage to get off strength morph. He's out of mana. And actually, the Soulbind latches onto Yapsor. Can they take advantage of that, though? They're going to turn on the Yapsor. An easier kill by far, but the Will of Wisp. And now the rest of the secret is here, especially with Zai. Rolling into the back line just like he did before. He's going to find Taiga. He's going to make sure to take him out with the Swashbuckle while the rest of the team, while the Exorcism going out, they've already managed to take out the Coddle as well as the Pango. And there now the go. second life onto the Morphling. If they can manage to get some sort of silence, a stun, anything to stop this TP away, but he's out. A good bail from Secret. If they can get everybody out of here, it would be excellent. But looks like Zai is still going to be chased down. No swashbuckle up. Now he's been silenced. So that will be presumably... No, another jump away. Boxy has his blink dagger up in a second, though. Spots him, hits the stop, and that'll be a third kill. So sure enough, Liquid does... And that little net worth lead begins to chug upwards once again. Now 3K, 13 to 8 at 20 minutes. I don't really know what you do at this point as Liquid. You've lost so much map control. You're just getting ran at. Death Prophet Ult is still off cooldown. Okay, Yule Scepter into the Inks. Well, they're really going to gun for Nisha here. Good he does have 20 stick charges. You got to pop them now as well. And the Essence Ring. Ring. Koipa, he's getting a little bit low, but Matumba Man has already thrown out his shotgun, and no that mana. was not enough to kill him. The roll forward. Zai is actually going to be able to intercept. And Matumba Man gets back safely while Taiga died to some of the supports of Secret. Zai gets in and gets out just as easily. The Stampede goes out. They're looking for something here. They're going to go for the Morphling. There's no Rolling Thunder. They managed to get a Soul Bite Silence on a two. Yeah. Yapsor is controlled up and seen he'll try for one silence. more nuke, but me with the silence coming up from Mikoifa, he's going to be able to get the spirit side from Matumba Man. He's a little bit low, but he's got a wave for him. He should be good. It's going to be Nisha as well as Puppy or more trouble. It's Mikke hunts down the captain of Team Secret and looks for more. A pounce is up That's and it. a defusal is up in four seconds. But they may not know, though, the radiance. Is fresh radiance for the Bristleback, and that is a big pickup as well. Inkswell goes down, blink forward, stun onto Nisha, but he's already turned his back to the rest of the team, and Zai does manage to jump in. Shield crash, stolen. No rolling thunder, and they should easily be able to lock down Centaur. A Soulbind going out, but I don't think Liquid can really turn on this so much. In My fact, back. Nisha is daring them to do so. Double Telekinesis toss back with the silence up there. They actually go for Matumba, and he drops a little bit low, but he does manage to morph into strength in the last second. Koifa comes back in. The silence on him, but the morph strength was on for the morph fling, so he's going to be good. The Yule Scepter goes out onto Yapsor with a buyback coming in from Boxy. They will confidently take the fight now against Secret. But 
come back to Roshan and Liquid. They're going to be forced to uh, quickly group up and run at the pit. Really good D ward coming out from uh, Yapsor in the river there. It, 15 seconds without exorcism. And this Roshan is dying so fast with all that minus armor. It looks like they're just going to be mid late. Rolling Thunder like and will wish just to make sure there is no opportunities for initiation. They will manage to get the kill onto Puppy here. But that was a buyback earlier from Boxy. He's in trouble. Matumba Man's going to be chased down. There goes the Soulbind on the Zion Matu. But he does manage to more strength once again. He's a tanky guy. And Koifa, he's in a bit of trouble. Triple Spirit Siphon into the Yule Scepter. Heals him up, back up to full with an inkswell on him. Almost gets the stun on Denisha. Instead, it's Poppy who ends up dying. That's a dieback for him, but a rolling from a Tumman. Operating on to Koifa. They should be able to get the rolling thunder. That's it. He's dead, and no exorcism in this fight means that Liquid no longer have a whole lot of damage. It's all up to Mickey now. Albert. Dow put it by himself. He goes for side that immediately gets Halbert up. Silence as well. Now he's gone. The carry and the mid. It just seems like they're one or two steps behind at every stage in this game. I feel like I'm being biased towards Secret, but... I, I, if I'm putting myself in Liquid's perspective this game, like, I want something, and they're just not giving it to me. I want to yeah. fight you. I want you to run into our deep yield. And Secret is doing a great job playing around. They are going to smoke up. They're ready to go. Both teams have all their abilities except for the Stampede. Looks like he's ready to break smoke, but I don't know if that was the intent of breaking the smoke here. Turning into a Centaur. This is not an Ogre. This, is, <laughs> this isn't like a five-position Ogre that's willing to tank the yeah. smoke for his team. You know, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, is he trying yeah. to tank it? Using the swash to cancel the blink immediately it was a good nice play by Zion. Okay, Matava Man almost loses his Aegis here. In fact, he's going to turn and fight as he's willing to make that trade off if they can actually kill Mickey. And Jesus. they will manage to do so. He's dead. GG. No buyback there. And that's just going to be it. Liquid call it GG. They seem to be utterly neutered, completely powerless against Secret as the game goes on and on. Uh, what is the equalizer? So if Yapsor can rotate between all three lanes successfully, I could see Secret. In a standard game, when you have Monkey King and Medusa are hitting towers 15 minutes into the game, right? Yep. But I think that just goes to show their knowledge and understanding of, of professional Dota and just timings and movements. And we see Liquid corresponding with the Blink Dagger on the Centaur. Middle of the catch. There is a call. Not bad. He does have Will-O-Wisp, so that's a team fight ultimate down. While Secret looks like they still want to fight. Buyback from the Coddle. They got the Phantom Drace onto the Pango, but with the buyback coming out from the Coddle, they need to get out. Koifa is going to be Stampede saved here. Gets out. The Exorcism is away. The will oh, is the actually going to be able to shine. catch him. And Koifa, he pops Yule Scepter with a Spirit Siphon on a Puppy. A spell goes in. What a hit from Boxy, but it's still not enough. They managed to finish off that Death Prophet. The Inkswell, well, it's going to do some damage, but Yaps are dodges most of it with the Snow. Ball. He's going to be fine. Ooh. Executed, though, as Mickey comes in swiftly for a kill on Mana Void. Insania hidden in the trees, but Nisha, he can jump on the trees. Spots Insania on the ground. I like the way you uh, you put that, too, Brian. Was it elegant? It, it was simple enough for me to understand. Yeah, I try. She wants it's to go, tough to she go. no go. Yeah, it, it, How it's play? tough to speak down to your level, but I, I sometimes <laughs> manage to pull it off. Secret is smoked up. DD on Monkey King. BKD. Look at Yapsar go with the spider legs. He just crawls up the cliff and finds him. They go up the nice silence for the BKB. Found the strike into the Wukong command. Liquid's in trouble. Koifa's got to get out of here with his BKB. He actually executes his spirit siphon, so he doesn't have any of those left. Just a couple more, but he keeps on having to run away, and now his BKB fades out. Zai, he's going to try and hit him as soon as Koifa comes back down to Earth with help of Matumba Man and Yapsor. They will bring down that big carry. Nisha, though, still battling out with Boxy and Mickey. Mickey is forced out, but Boxy doesn't have the same kind of escape. He's easily... That's like half his mana pool just restored on the low cooldown. There it is. That's effectively, like... I think that 300 mana is effectively healing him for, like, 800 health. It's pretty insane. Nukes after nukes, they keep on throwing damage out at Matumba Man, trying to get him low enough that they can take away that Aegis for free, and that's where Boxy's going to come in, try and go with the Stampede Inks, well, they will manage to take it, but now they've committed to a team fight, they may not be able to win. Mickey is able to blink back out, and Boxy did manage to retreat there, Alicia. jump forward, actually broke the trees, Nisha is stunned here on the side, but they can't focus him down, they're a little bit scared of approaching, especially underneath that Will-O-Wisp, but they do manage to get on top, oh, oh my god! That was a thousand damage plus coming out from Nisha with that.
big level 20 old talent. Bound to strike the yeah. level 20 talent, making short work of poor old Death Prophet. He gets bludgeoned to death, but he has a second life. Boxy jumping forward, hits no, the shot on Matumba Man. Big game wants to be able to commit there and burn out the mana of Matumba Man. Jeez. He's quite low as well, but he managed to get off the stone gaze long enough. Will he turn him into stone? He's getting some yes, of one no. off the cheese, and now the bound to strike oh. is taking away the Rubik, and all of Liquid are forced to retreat. Heartbreak. On the way out, Zai may be caught here. He may be sacrificed for the better good for the triumph of Team Secret, but he is still so tanky. Finally, he dies, and they do manage to get a mega kill streak. That goes, a Secret is going to be distracted by that too much. It's time to force the buyback out of this Animage. Matumba. Zai? Just killing Boxy, potentially? Yeah, bash? looks like he oh, had it. Yeah. Rolling Thunder. Very nice to cancel the TP. Oh, he doesn't have a bash. Oh, well. Yeah, Crimson Guard will keep Boxy alive for a time being. But either way, it's, he's neutralizing Boxy, this right? This is inevitable death as he loses his racks top to a Medusa. Honestly, not letting him blink and not killing him is probably the best play by Zai. Are they, they got a buyback on? Okay, there it goes. Dropping item on Boxy. Buyback. Boxy's dropping items. Okay. <laughs> he's dead. You gotta have a little bit of fun. Plus, he's got boots of travel on Zai, so now he can join the rest of his team and taking on a four versus five. Last life for everybody here on Liquid. Last hold in this series. I just love the itemization from Secret against the Anti-Mage as we see the last fight. Mickey just getting oh. torn apart by all that damage. He turns and blinks on his side, but it's still not enough. But Tubba Man with the, the godlike double kill. Nobody is going to give them beyond godlike, though. Koifa plays back into the fountain, and that's it. Just uh, a little bit better for Liquid, but still.